Community Center at work. Our project looked at hospital procedural volume and mortality in vulnerable patients' populations after high-risk cardiac surgery. I have no disclosures, and neither does Dr. Gafiri and Drs. Dimmick and Burke are equity owners of Arbormetric, which is not involved in the study. As we saw this afternoon, disparities still exist in surgical outcomes. The volume outcome relationship has led us to understand that referring patients to high volume centers may be a method of improving outcomes. We sought to determine whether or not this is particularly true for patients in vulnerable populations, specifically the elderly age 80 or over, patients of low socioeconomic status, black patients, and female patients. To do this, we use national Medicare data on 600,000 patients from the fee-for-service program across five years who underwent cabbage, aortic valve replacement, and, aortic, and mitral valve replacement. We used a multiple logistic regression approach to account for pre-existing patient comorbidities as well as admission type and robust standard errors to, to account for clustering of patients within hospitals. This is our table one that shows the differences between high and low volume hospitals. As you can see, all of these would be statistically significant because of the large end of our sample. However, from a clinical standpoint, there were only significant differences for patients of low socioeconomic status who are seen more often in low volume hospitals, as well as black patients, where high volume hospitals also saw less black patients. This presents our major findings here. And as you can see, I'd like to draw your attention to the um, high-risk populations. So for black patients, for instance, there is a 1.59 higher odds of death when treated at a low volume hospital as compared to a high volume hospital. However, for white patients, this is only 1.41. You can see similar trends for socioeconomic status, for age, as well as for gender. In summary, inpatient mortality is higher in vulnerable demographic populations. However, members of these groups may benefit more than non-vulnerable populations when undergoing surgery at high volume centers. I'd like to thank you for this opportunity to present and be happy to take any questions.